Hey guys, I'm gonna do something that I've never done before as a video. I have been thinking about it for a while, but this makes me nervous sharing something like this because I've never shared anything like this before on my YouTube channel. But I got an email yesterday from someone who was saying that I should start putting out videos again. And so here I am. I just figured maybe I should do that now. Here I go. So I'm going to share a couple of dreams that I have had, oh, maybe like a month or so ago, a few weeks ago. And I don't know if they're just my dreams because I don't remember dreams very often. It is very rare for me to remember a dream, but both of them were very vivid dreams. Um, the one dream I had, I dreamt this dream and then the next day I had the same dream again. And then I just, it was just so vivid and felt so real that I felt like this wasn't a normal dream and I really felt like God was trying to prepare me. And please know that by me sharing this dream, it's not to cause fear. When you're prepared, you shall have no fear because you're prepared. Now, when I was in martial arts, one of the things that they kind of taught us was to think of all sorts of scenarios that could possibly happen to you and then figure out what you would do in those situations. And that way, as you think about different situations that you could be in, and then think of what would you do if that was the situation? What, what tactics am I gonna use? Or how am I gonna get out of this situation kind of a thing? It helps you so you're not afraid. So I hope that you take this video as that, that it, it's here to help possibly prepare you for possible things that might happen in the near future. And then if you're prepared, you can be in faith instead of fear if it does happen. So here I go on my dream. I dreamt that I was driving up a pretty busy road that leads up close to my dad's house in the city that my dad lives in. But there wasn't a lot of cars. It was just me and my kids were in my car with me. And as I was driving up and it was a little bit dark, but it, it almost seemed like it was at nighttime, but it was kind of dark. And as I'm driving up this road, my daughter says, mom, you can't keep going. Look, there's they're blocking the road and as I look I see this police barricade blocking the road and in my astonishment I was like not knowing what to do so I just kept driving slowly up the road and and then eventually I, I caught eye of this police officer who looked very upset and stressed out and he pointed at me and then pointed down where he wanted me to go where he wanted me to drive because there was just this small opening for cars that could get through and then I saw a couple of cars going through and then I went through this barricade and then as I turn to go on the road that leads to my dad's house and obviously in, in a real situation a cop would never have let me gone through the road that I went through because the road that I went through I had to try and miss all these dead bodies that were laying on the ground all over so I almost hit a a guy who was dead on the road and there was a hole in the road and his head was halfway in that hole and then I had to swerve and miss other dead bodies in the road and I remember in my dream I was crying so sad that these that this happened to these people and then I was having to see this and then I was crying because my I was so sad that my my kids were seeing all of this that they had to see this and then I was crying because I didn't know if my dad was okay and then my dream ended and so I woke up and I was just like so distraught I called my husband and I was like this dream I just had this dream and he was like oh that's so crazy because I just got done listening to Glenn Beck and he was talking about how the senators just passed a law where they police officers can take your phone and um, have a way to get into your phone and how these senators would never have passed allowed that to pass and so Glenn was saying how there must be something big going on for them to for these senators to say yes on passing this law and so I was like oh my goodness I don't think that's a coincidence that I just had this dream you just barely had listened to that from Glenn Beck. At any rate, the next morning as I was sleeping, 
I had the same dream, but I was watching it as like kind of like an outsider instead of me seeing it like I did the, the day before. It was me like kind of watching it on a movie, but it was the same exact scenario that I had dreamt the day before. So that was an, that was two witnesses, I guess. So I really feel like there's something to this dream, but like I said, it makes me nervous because I, I don't remember very many dreams and sharing this on here, it could make me look crazy, you know, but at any rate, whatever, I'm still sharing this, but this, another dream that I had not long after these this dream that I had twice. I dreamt that because we've had some bears in our yard and in the area that we live in here in the mountains. And so I don't know if this is just because my brain was thinking about bears, but I had this dream and I don't know where we were, but it was, it almost felt like home too, but it wasn't home. Anyways, there was this big long deck that was covered and I hear all this ruckus. And so I, I go out to look outside the window and I see these horses trying to knock down this fence, this wooden fence. And what's scaring all these horses? Why are they trying to knock down this fence and get away? So then I look over and I see two massive bears and I see two horses that both these bears have their heads inside of these horses and these horses are still alive, sadly. It's a very disturbing dream. So they're eating these horses while they're still alive and then I see the horses, the other horses that are trying to get away finally knock down the fence, the wall, and just to get to the other side with other horses that were pinned in and have another border or fence that they're pinned in and not being able to get away from these two massive bears. In my dream, I'm like, Josh, can we just go? Can we leave now? Can we go? And then my dream ends. And I was thinking about this dream and thinking about, because a lot of times like in Revelations, there's parts where it talks about horses and then it talks about beasts and they represent a lot of times countries. So then I started thinking, well, what country represents bears, like big bears? Then I started thinking, well, what country represents horses? So I looked that up and I saw it was Russia. Russia uh, bears represent the country of Russia. And it was the same type of bear that I saw in my dream eating these horses. And then, so then I looked up what, what countries represent horses and it's Canada. And so then I was just thinking, well, what's the fence all about? And, and then those horses knocked down that fence just to get pinned up and not be able to escape either. Just my own ponderings and thoughts. But I was just thinking, what if those two bears were representing Russian troops and then the horses were Canada and what if, I mean, I'm not saying this is happening, but what if this could happen or is happening and we just don't know it, but what if there were Russian people that have gone into Canada and are kind of destroying somewhat of Canada from the inside out and they're slowly, you know, eating Canada away or destroying, slowly destroying Canada. And those other Canadian horses, you know, or Canadians knock down the fence. And what fence would that be? That would be the wall. If there is a wall, knock down the border to get into America, you know, like maybe there might be something that happens in Canada relating to Russia where the people will start coming to America quickly and fast and lots of them coming into Canada because it isn't safe in Canada anymore. So they come into America and I got the feeling that once those bears were finished with those horses, they were just going to come in and destroy all the horses that were on the other side of that fence. And so then I was just thinking, oh my goodness, I think it's crazy that I had that dream where I see all these dead bodies in it. I almost thought, was this an explosion? I don't know how those 
people died. My dream didn't show that to me, but it, it almost seemed like there was smoke in the air. And then as I've listened to some things that Glenn Beck and other people have talked about, I, I do get the feeling that maybe there is a possibility that we could have either civil riots or because there's people from Mexico that are coming in from Russia and all over the world coming in through our borders and, and being here in America. Some of them are probably innocent and need to come in, but there are some that are not innocent and their, their intentions are not good for the American people. And so I do wonder if maybe there could be little attacks in different cities across America someday, maybe in, in the near future where we're gonna see this. Now, I told my kids about these dreams and I told them, you know, I don't know if this if this is gonna happen. It might not happen, it might have just been in my dream, but if it is from God and he's trying to help us prepare, I don't know if we'll actually have that scenario happen. What I tend to believe what would happen is we might be seeing this on the news where we're gonna see like different little attacks or explosions or riots where chaos is just everywhere. And whether we're, we're actually firsthand in that chaos, I don't know. Or if we're gonna be seeing this and we just need to be prepared for a lot of unrest here in America and possibly Canada. I kind of feel like they're a little correlated. If this is kind of a, Christy, you need to be prepared because even in my dream, it was extremely difficult to be watching this and seeing it happening. I do think that he was trying to prepare me that maybe I need to look at these scenarios and what am I going to do? What am I going to think? What, what can I do if this, if we are in this kind of chaos, what can I do? If we're not in that chaos, but it's happening in cities that I know or that I'm in, what could I do? How can I get prepared for that? And like I said, I really feel like if you're prepared, you're not going to fear. And I learned that from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints all growing up. But I also learned that from doing martial arts and learning how to prepare yourself for hard situations that could be like these dreams that I've had. At any rate, maybe it's a good idea to come up with scenarios like this where, and don't get obsessed about it. Don't go extreme and just think nothing but this, but maybe take this as something like, what? well, what would I do if this happened? What am I going to think? What am I going to do? How can I get prepared for something like this that could happen in the future or might happen or might not happen, but still being prepared so that one, one more thing that you would be prepared that you wouldn't have to fear. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but I videoed this video last week and I didn't have time to edit this video because we were leaving and so we just got back and now I'm editing and I wanted to put this in here real quick. It was yesterday, which was Tuesday, June 25th. I just heard from Glenn Beck that there's some stuff going on in Canada right now where it's going to be really difficult for some of the Canadians. And I don't think he said that it had anything to do with Russia, but Canada, some people in Canada are having some serious problems. And so I just wanted to kind of put this in here. Let's just pray for the people in Canada and pray that they can be protected. I will link that video that I watched from Glenn Beck yesterday on this video so you can watch and see what is happening in Canada. So back to the video. Anyways, I just thought I would share the, these two dreams that I had. Please, like I said, don't use it as a fear thing. Use it as this, if this happened, what could I do? How can I be prepared for it? And then you get to live in faith because you're prepared. So anyways, I hope you guys are doing well and we will catch you next time. Bye.